The producer of the George Lazenby film is Andre Morgan, the only Western producer working for a Chinese movie company. He explained what he felt was the appeal of Kung Fu movies for Western audiences. Something new, something different. Right now, things out of Asia are very faddish in the West. And I think it's probably the first time that Western audiences have been presented with fight sequences that are well choreographed, that, that take much longer to happen on the screen, and at the same time have a certain artistic merit in the way that ballet has. And it's something new and different that the, uh, the Western audiences haven't seen before. Andre was also a close personal friend of the man who brought Kung Fu to the West, Bruce Lee. In terms of the way Bruce would fight in real life and the way he fought on the screen, there are obviously some differences. The, the, adjust, the adjustments that we make for all martial arts on camera. He had to slow down some of his actions and some of his gestures had to be exaggerated in order for them to be caught by the camera. More than anything, he actually had to slow down. Um, he had a tremendous speed in real life but it was too fast for the camera. He was a very strong person, you know, mentally strong. Anything he said, apart from the knowing that he could uh, cut you down in three seconds plus <laughs> with his physical powers, I mean, he was like a, a piece of wire. You know, you know, a couple of times we were grappling together, or we you're saying, this muscle's for this, you feel that, and you'd feel it, and it was like feeling a ball of steel when it was rolled up. He just didn't want to tangle with it. But getting back to him, uh, he had a lot of mental strength. He would concentrate on something, and you would have to concentrate. For instance, he'd have an idea for the picture, and he'd ring up uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. George, are you there? George. Yes, Fred. Uh, I've got this idea. What do you think of it? And he'd go on for an hour. Lee's unfinished film, Exit the Dragon, contained perhaps some of his best work. A formidable array of ferocious opponents were assembled for him. Included seven foot four Harlem Globetrotter Raoul Jebar. <laughs> Golden Harvest intend to complete the film by the end of the year. Bruce Lee worked very hard to achieve the dexterity he shows on the screen. had his own gymnasium, custom built to his own specifications. It was here he would work out for two hours every day with weights and sophisticated equipment calculated precisely for the muscle groups he concentrated on. Movie martial artists have to train just as hard as if they're in competition to keep their audiences happy. And since Bruce Lee's death, several other kung fu killers have started to draw the crowds in Asia and America. Top of the list.